Hey, good day, teachers. I thought you might like to know what Google Classroom looks like from the student side. So let's take a tour of what the kids see. All right, so I'm signed in here as a student and I have, I have assigned this test student some assignments in Google Classroom. So we're going to go to Google Classroom and go to the demo class. So as you can see, when students enter classroom, they land on the stream. And this is where um, every time I add an assignment or I can post announcements here, um, the stream is a place where conversation is supposed to happen. You will see that woohoo no work due soon, which is a little bit inaccurate. So from, from the student's point of view, you want to tell them to click that view all button because that gives you this beautiful list. And you can see here that I actually have two assignments that are from April 6th and April 3rd that would be past due. Now here's some filters that I can use from a student's point of view. I can see everything that's assigned. I can click on see everything that was returned with a grade. And I can click this one, which is just going to show me the things that are missing. And in this case, you know, this, these are things that are late that I need to catch up on. So this is one place you can tell your students to go if they're having trouble finding what work is due or past due. All right, so let's go back to that home page. So that was stream. This is where we were is in this little assignment thing here. On the classwork page, you can see from the student point of view that I can filter it by topic. If you have things separated by topic, that's a good way to do it. If I click science, I'm only going to see those assignments that are science related. So the students click on the assignment and then it's important that they go here. If they only go as far as this screen, they're going to missing, be missing some important elements. And this is an assignment that didn't have any attachments to it, but you can see where the student work is to be populated is over here on the right hand side. And I have two choices here. So my teacher wants me to take a picture. I'm going to click add or create. And this is the button that gives me all those different choices. I can pull something out of Google Drive if I've taken a picture. I can upload it from my Chromebook if I've taken a picture or I can create any of these four things new from scratch. The other thing I can see is it tells me it's missing in red, so I know that this assignment is late. The other thing I want to show you is the difference between private and class comments. So from a student point of view, if I type something in here, all of my classmates are going to see it. Okay, and once I click post, um, we'll take you out to the stream and see if it shows there. But private comments are only between the student and the teacher. So if a student sends you a private comment, in general, you'll get an email um, notification, unless you have those turned off, uh, telling you that someone has made a private comment. But those don't show to other students. Anything they post over here in class comments do show when other students go to this um, this page and I think it may show in the stream but I'm not sure let's go back there and look demo class okay here's what it shows it shows there is one class comment so I can click on it and see what that comment is so let's look at this assignment in writing because I know that um, had a doc generated okay so you can see that it's late due April 6th it's marked missing when I go to view assignment so for the students whenever you've marked something make a copy for each student it populates over here on the left hand side of the screen it will have their name on it where this one says test student test student it will have their name on it um, when they click on it it opens for them and you can see the other thing that they will see is this button right here that says turn in um, if they don't have a turn in button, they have done something like make a copy of it or whatever. They are not, um, if it's their own creation, it won't have the turn in button, but it will have that turn in button if you made it and you said give a copy to each student. So when I click turn in, it's asking me that second time, do I want to turn this in? And I say turn in. So I have now given ownership of that document to my teacher. I can't do anything to it. In fact, if I try to open it right now, which I, oh, it's already open. 
you will see that my access to it has expired, which means that I cannot type on this. I can't type on this file because I have turned it into my teacher. So let me close that out. There is an unsubmit button right there. And that lets me basically take the ownership back from the teacher and type on it again. So that's a possibility if you want students to revise something. You'll see also that it shows that I turned it in late. So students are aware when they do that. You'll also notice that our student here has the ability to mark as done. And um, when a student selects that, you, it, it gives you a little warning, hey, you didn't attach any work. So your teacher will just see that it's done, mark as done. And from the teacher side, you'll see this basically that the student marked as done, but there won't be anything attached to it. So um, that is something that can happen. I, as a student, can say it's done, whether it's finished or not. But obviously, if that work isn't attached, then clearly that, that assignment has not been completed. Let's take a look at the People tab from the student point of view. Um, I have some classmates here and I have a teacher and I can email either of those people from my um, from my people tab so if I want to send my teacher an email I can just click that and it's gonna send me right into my Gmail box and there's my email already started to my teacher alright and that is the student view of Google Classroom this has been the stay-at-home edition of the Monday Minute don't forget to sanitize it.